Still on NTV at one, the Education Committee of Parliament has recommended the full reinstatement of the budget for the education sector in a report to the August House on the Ministerial Policy Statement. Members of Parliament were alarmed by the projected 80% budget cut for the education sector in the financial year 2023-2024. MPs asked for more funds for the student loan scheme which may not be able to take in new students in the next financial year as the Higher Education Students Financing Board struggles to pay areas for the continuing students. Take a look. Budget cuts. The committee observed that despite recommendations earlier made by the committee at the National Budget Framework Paper, financial year 2023-2024, approved in regards to the Minister of Education and Sports, 80% budget cuts, especially as of subventions, the Ministry of Education and, and Sports budget savings has not been adjusted to cater for those shortfalls. And the following are likely impl implications. The loan scheme has accumulated areas in regards to payment of tuition fees for the continuing students under the scheme, and the board will not be able to admit new beneficiaries in the coming financial year of 2023-2024. The Health Examinations Boards, that is Uganda Nursing and Midwives Examinations Board, and Uganda Allied Health Examinations Board will not be in a position to effectively discharge their mandate of assessment of students given the 80% budget cuts. The Uganda National Commission for UNESCO, UNATCOM will not be in a position to pay annual subscription to UNESCO and ICESCO and implement, and implement its activities. Uh, Right now, Speaker, this is among the few cuts that have been imposed on the, on the sub-program. But overall, the subversions under the Minister of, Minister of Education and Sports had a budget cut of $170.95 billion. The recommendation by the committee is that Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development reinstates the budget of the subversion under the Minister of Education and Sports by Uganda shillings $170.95 billion that was cut for effective implementation and discharge of their mandates as envisaged in the acts that brought them into force and in line with the NDP3. Grant aiding of primary and secondary schools. Right now, Speaker, you allow me to go straight to recommendations. The committee recommends the following, that it reiterates its self-recommendation for the release of 6.8 billion that was appropriated for grant aiding of the 28 primary schools and Uganda sharing 16.88 billion for the 37 secondary schools in financial year 2022-2023. That Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development avails 11 billion for grant aiding of 100 primary schools in financial year 2023-2024. That Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development avails 20 billion for grant aiding of 50 secondary schools across the country in financial year 2022-2023. Right now, Speaker, uh, the part two and three, this in addition to what had already been catered for in 2022-2023. And the reason why the committee took that position, we have realized that it may not be easy for government at the moment, given the economic situation, to construct seed schools and also construct new primary schools in every part.